Hi, my name is Nia Akimolai and this is the first video we're doing on the blog. We're going to be talking about auditions and I thought that it would be a nice... Uh, you're going to need my help for this, so bye. Hi guys, my name is Adeswa Etoimi, I'm an actor and I will be talking to you about auditioning today. I'm just going to give a few tips on how I think you should handle an audition. Um, I might not know a lot, but I think um, I have a bit of training and I've also been to quite a few auditions, so I want to tell you things I do that work for me and things I think that everyone going for auditions should do and I hope you enjoy it. So, number one. Do not be late. There's nothing more annoying for a casting panel than an actor walking in very late into the audition room. Like, I'm so sorry, I'm late. Hello? Hello, let me call you back. I've reached the audition. I'm sorry, I, I got in traffic. And you also... I'm ready. Please be early. Please be punctual. And when you get into the room, acknowledge the casting panel. Smile. Say hello. Be polite, be friendly, and be very, very warm. Number two, if you want to dress appropriately. So, um, my name is Adesa Tony. I'm an actress. Um, I came to audition for, I don't know, whatever character you want to I don't know how else to say this, but when you walk into an audition room, the way you present yourself, you want to be addressed. And there's a saying, you're addressed the way you dress. Remember guys, it is an audition and not a striptease. Your talent is enough to get you the job. You don't have to do any more. Number three, keep eye contact. Yes, eye contact is really good, but you also don't want to look like a witch. <laughs> so you don't want to be doing this. So it seemed that it was cool for everyone to be in a relationship with me, so I took matters into my hands and ended up with him. Him who displayed the characteristics of a cheat, a liar, an abuser, and a thief. So why was I surprised? Hmm? When he broke into my hands. No, you don't want to do that. Eye contact is to. There's a bit of sincerity that's attached attached to eye contact, and that's really good. But you also don't want to weird the custom panel out. So you have to give just the amount, right amount of eye contact, but also not too much. Number four, when you walk into that room, be yourself. A custom panel can sense someone that's being forced from the moment that they walk in. Be yourself. No matter what happens, if you're what they're looking for and you audition really well, you will get the job. Don't try to be someone else and be confident in your abilities. I can guarantee you that your strongest point lies in the fact that you walk into that room as yourself. Number five, be prepared for anything. You never know what the casting panel is gonna ask or require of you when you walk into the room. You have to have an open mind and also you have to listen attentively to the directions that they give you. It's really, really important. You might have prepared for Sarah or Benga and they decide that they want you to read for Tunde or Sheyi. You always have to be prepared. You have to be versatile. You have to have an open mind. You also have to listen to directions. It is so important because sometimes a casting panel might have seen your decision and, and decision you made about a certain character, but they want you to try it a different way. Most times, if they want you to try a different way, they kind of have an interest in you and they want to see what you can do. So you have to be versatile. You have to listen to instructions. Number six. Number six. This is really important because I think this is something that a lot of us get wrong and I have in the past as well. Ask questions. If you don't understand something, make sure you ask. There is nothing wrong with asking. It doesn't make you look dumb. If anything, it makes you look like you're more interested in the work that's being required of you because you don't want to make a fool of yourself. You want as much direction as possible. So ask questions. If there's something in the script you don't understand, ask. If there's something that's been said to you and you don't quite understand, make sure you ask because that's the only way you're able to portray what they require of you if you know exactly what they want. So there's nothing wrong with asking questions. So make sure you ask questions. Number seven number seven remember guys it is acting for film try not to overdo it i had to learn this along the way because i'm stage trained so there's certain things i had to learn and i had to learn that there's power and subtlety 
you have to make sure that you don't overdo it. The character should come from the inside out, not from the outside in. So that's it guys, thank you very much. Get out. <laughs> thank you very much for watching. We're going to be doing beautiful videos like this. Um, I hope that in future we can come up with fantastic ideas and also invite great people to come share their thoughts on the show. So you can follow us on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Facebook for more beautiful videos. Thank you very much. It's Vinny Akimalayama.